Hi everybody, I am Kate if you're new here. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back and watching more of my videos. I'm so excited because this is the last vlog of 2022 and it's actually the last day of 2022. So welcome back if you are not new here and thank you so much for watching regardless of if you've been here or not. So like I said, my name's Kate. I am an operating room nurse here in New Jersey. I've been a nurse for about a year and a half, and I currently have a few updates for you all. I am leaving the operating room. You heard that right, guys. I'm leaving. And I actually have a better opportunity. It's something I feel more passionate about. I'm really excited and there's a million reasons why. So if you could take a guess based off my last videos, where do you think I'm going? I am going to labor and delivery. So this is one of the things I've always said I've been interested in. Ever since graduating nursing school, I've wanted labor and delivery, the operating room, even pediatrics. Like I've always had those different specialties in mind. But when I first graduated nursing school, the first job interview and even offer that I got was for OR. It was for the operating room. So of course I took that, but um, I never got any opportunities for labor and delivery. Lately in the operating room, as I said, I'm a year and a half in, I've been kind of like, I don't really know if this is for me. Is this really for the rest of my life? Do I actually want to do this till I retire? No, like I don't. I like it a lot, but do I love it? No. So I really, the last month I started applying for labor and delivery jobs. And where I live in North Jersey, there's about like 20 hospitals or so within hours. So it's actually a really good place to live if you are a nurse because there's a million opportunities right here. But um, so yeah, like about a month ago, I started applying for jobs about labor delivery and even a few like pediatric intensive care jobs, but mostly labor and delivery because that's my gut is telling me to go try it out. So that's what I'm doing. I applied for a few jobs and I got one call back like maybe a few days after I uh, put myself out there and applied. They called me back. We scheduled an interview within that week coming up. I'm always off on Tuesdays usually in the operating room. So uh, I had an interview. It was actually a FaceTime interview with a really great hospital around my area. It's um, a bigger healthcare system. So I'm really excited to work for that. And the job that I work at right now, their healthcare system is huge too in New Jersey, but the one I'm gonna go to is even bigger and better and you get paid more money. It's better opportunity, looks better on your resume. Like there's a million things that I'm excited for, but mostly I'm excited for the specialty. So basically I did a, um, a video call with them. It was the nurse manager and the assistant nurse manager, and we just got along great. They told me basically more about their unit, about labor and delivery. I told them kind of like my expectations from them. We talked about scheduling because this would be a night shift job. And actually it is a night shift job because I took it. So I'm excited, I'm sorry guys, but this is a change for the new year. I am going to be a labor and delivery nurse in 2023. And I feel like I'm just so excited. Like the operating room was great. If you're going to go into that, good for you guys. Just know that you're not going to learn nursing skills. And that is for me, the biggest reason why I'm leaving my job to go to labor and delivery, because I want to learn nursing skills. I want to learn like critical care. I want to learn like essentially how to save a life if I have to and a laboring situation like there's just so many benefits to it I I love babies I love everything about pregnancy like I can't wait to be a mom one day I'm really excited for all of this and I just can't wait to help laboring moms and coach them and make their little miracles become a reality and I just can't wait I'm gonna learn skills of how to take care of a baby how to take care of the mothers all over like I'm just so excited guys so um and it kind of all happened really quick like let me put it that way is I literally applied for 16 20 plus I I did a lot of applications so I did those applications I got the call got the interview within that week and then literally it was Christmas 
So they were like, you know, Kate, uh, if you get the job, it'll be an offer after Christmas because like their hiring manager was away for the holidays. So it was literally the day after Christmas where they called me and they were like, hey, you know, like we wanted to offer you the job. They explained the pay to me. They explained the scheduling. They explained what's um, they just gave me further details about the job offer. And if I'm still interested, am I willing to accept it? And of course I did because I really want labor and delivery and it's a $5 increase from what I'm currently making, which is pretty big. Like it's really going to make a difference on a paycheck and it's an easier schedule. So it's night shift, which I used to do night shifts and it was hard, but I think it's going to be a little easier as a new grad nurse, especially going into, you know, a specialty I've never done before. So I'm excited for that. And it's also a lot closer to my job. So where I currently work at, which I just handed in my four week resignation to. So January 25th is my last day there. So I'll give you more updates about that in a minute. But basically where I currently work at, it's about like in the mornings, it's a 35 to 40 minute drive. And every evening, cause I end my shift at 5.30 during rush hour in New Jersey, it's about like at least an hour to get home every single day. And I've been doing that drive to work and from work every day for a year and a half. And it's, it's tiring and it does take a toll on you. So this current or this job I'm gonna have in the new year, it's uh, 20 to 25 minutes away, depending on the time, but that's, that's it. And that's easy to me and I'm really excited and I can't wait. Like I can't wait to be a labor and delivery nurse. I. I'm nervous, like don't get me wrong, I'm really excited, but I am really nervous because I've never worked on the floor. I don't really know what to expect. And I just hope I can be like the best nurse possible. And if you guys have any tips for me, please give them to me because I am nervous. And you know, even though I've been a nurse for a year and a half and I have experience in the operating room, it's completely different from floor nursing and labor and delivery. Labor and delivery is its whole beast itself. So I'm excited to tackle it and learn and everything like that. So details about this job, I am starting it February 6th. So it's gonna be a night shift job. So I work three night shifts a week. It um, basically like simple requirements and stuff like that is you have to work three weekend shifts per month, which is more than I currently work in the operating room. But the thing with this job is you get weekend shift differential. So it's an extra, I think it was like an extra what? An extra dollar and 60 cents per hour during the weekend shifts. And night shift, you get a $3.75 differential. So I'm making like, with all of that, like if I worked a weekend shift, I'm making like six, seven dollars more than I'm currently making at my job. And at my current job, they don't offer weekend shift differentials and their night shift differential is not that much. So I'm really excited for this job um, because I think I'm gonna grow a lot as a nurse. I'm gonna learn a lot as a nurse. I'm gonna make more money as a nurse. And I just feel like this is a job that how do I explain it to you? Because I don't want to be like too excited about the future, but this is a job that I could see myself staying at for like definitely more than a year or two years or maybe even three years if I love it. Like I really, knock on wood, I really hope I love it, but I could see myself like getting pregnant at this job and working while I'm pregnant at this job where as in the operating room, like I thought the idea of getting pregnant in the operating room was like the scariest thing because all the x-ray and heavy operating room beds and not saying labor and delivery is that physical because I actually have never worked it so I don't know but I just feel like it's more common to see pregnant people working on the floor and working like labor and delivery jobs that I do see in the operating room especially because like in the operating room you're exposed to so much gas and lasers and radiation it's just like a whole bunch of things that sometimes on the floor you don't have to worry about as much so but um I'm just really excited because I feel like this is a big jump in my career and this is my second job as a registered nurse and it's something 
I've always thought about, like from nursing school, I've always thought about the operating room, did that, don't love it as much as I thought I would. And I've always thought about labor and delivery. I've always thought about pediatrics and I've always thought about aesthetic nursing, but right now in my heart, it's telling me to try labor and delivery. And you know what, like guys, you're kind of along for this ride with me. Like I have a long time left of working. I have a long time left of being a nurse and I'm on a mission, especially in 2023, to be as happy as possible. I want a work-life balance. I want to be going back to the gym. I want to really enjoy my life as a whole. I want to go into work and feel motivated, which I currently don't. I feel like nursing, you all hear it and see it, but like nursing is a very toxic environment sometimes. And like the hospital I work at, it's just... Maybe the hospital in itself isn't toxic, but I feel like some of the people that are in the operating room are so toxic and like, I don't really care about how they feel and whatever, but um, I just, it's not for me. Like, I just don't feel passionate and I can tell other people aren't passionate when they're there. They're just like, next, 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 because the OR is just constant. So it's just like you're a robot. And even though labor and delivery is going to be busy too, I feel like I could still connect with those patients. I can still do nursing skills. I'm going to be stressed out. Like I know I'll be stressed, but I hope I love it. And I hope it doesn't feel so much like a job at the end of the day. And from what I've heard, a lot of labor and delivery nurses are happy. And I really hope that I can feel that way too, especially as this is my second job. It's kind of like my second pick of what I think I would love. So Maybe I'll get lucky, and if not, we'll figure it out. So, but yeah, I just wanted to explain that to you all. 2023 is coming to an end. Today's the last day, and I'm vlogging today because I really just want to prioritize this more in 2023, and I wanted to give you all that update on me. So if you have any tips for a labor and delivery nurse or anything, please let me know. Comment below, like this video, subscribe, whatever you got to do. And that would really make me happy. So thank you guys so much and happy new year. Hope it's a happy and healthy year for everybody. Bye.